Hi, Chen Mo. We are really interested in hiring a teacher who can use technology effectively. What will be your approach to using technology in your classroom? And why have you selected that approach? Please provide a concrete example of what this approach might look like in your classroom. What kinds of resources do you feel you need to take this approach in your classroom? Okay, I will encourage students to use digital tools to assist in their learning, especially for some math problems that can be represented in a visible way, which is helpful for students to change uh, the abstract numbers or data to the visible and uh, figurative things to analyze. For example, with the guidance of teachers, students can use the data they collected to create a bar graph by an online digital graph maker. They will first taste different berries and vote for their favorite. Teachers will explain the graph maker to students and give an example of the first bar after they collect the data in their classroom. Uh, students will work in groups, uh, creating a bar graph that represents their group's results and share the conclusions they get to the classroom. Uh, with the information of the digital graph they made, students will solve simple, put together, take apart, and uh, compare problems after the activity individually. In this kind of activity, students begin to utilize graph uh, graphic organizers to build um, premier knowledge and construct meaning. The technology helps low-grade students build the graph model easily and provide options for them to represent the data set. It makes data visible, which can help students compare those intuitive data more clearly so what so that they can solve different problems based on the information. I believe that computers with internet and the projectors are necessary for students to use uh, digital tools and show their results to the classroom. And uh, easy to understand digital tools like websites or applications are needed for students as well. That's all. As we strive to use technology more often and more effectively, we are concerned about our students' safety and ability to use technology appropriately. What sorts of things should we be thinking about as a result with this concern? Mm, students should have uh, the appropriate consensus about using technologies. Since they are elementary age students, it is important for them to know how to protect themselves, including their personal security. Uh, technology safety lessons should be taught to students so that they can have the sense of protecting themselves while using technologies. Also, the safety of those websites, apps, or software students, software students will use should be ensured by parents, teachers, schools, and the government. Those safety resources should be provided and recommended to students to explore the technologies in a safe place. For the physical aspect, uh, students' time of using technology should be limited. As we all know, facing screens for a long time is harmful for students' eyes. Our district is really pushing global education. And next year, this needs to be part of our school improvement plan. What's your perspective on global education? Describe the ways you think technology facilitates this kind of learning. Um, higher education programs promoted international exchange and semester abroad programs beginning in the years after the Second World War. Uh, international K-12 school, K schools uh, became popular as global commerce expanded and individuals migrated across abroad to work and raise families. Global education follows the direction of historical development. Technologies make global education become much more convenient through the internet. Students in different countries and areas who have diverse cultural backgrounds and knowledge can have the top universities lessons all around the world. It gives the students chances to have access to the to those lessons and 
Uh, the top and most advanced theories can be spread to more people. That can inspire more considerations via computers and mobile phones. And some um, students with disabilities or ESOL students can also have an uh, international lessons at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, we often struggle to engage parents at the school. We did a survey last, last year and learned that almost all our families have access to the internet via mobile phones or computers in the home. How might we leverage this access to improve home school communication? Um, a platform that teachers and schools can provide students recent work can be settled both on mobile phones and computer computers in the home. It can be a blog or an app in the mobile phones. Teachers can share what students do at school on the platform and parents can know more about their children through this way. As I know, there are some apps in Chinese elementary schools that teachers share the activities on the app and students do the online education and quiz with their parents. Parents have uh, the access to check their children's work with teachers' com comments. Uh, students can ask questions and answer the questions uh, asked by their peers. And when they have some arguments or mistakes, teachers will answer those questions online or on the next class. I think this kind of application benefits both parents and teachers. They both have more chances to know a more about their children and students, which can let uh, their education more effectively. That's it.